Well, on the eve of a major EU summit, eight European countries are calling for Brussels to devote a quarter of its budget to combating climate change. They also want the EU to commit to zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, at the latest. The signatories include France, the Netherlands, Spain and Sweden, but notably absent Europe's economic powerhouse, Germany. Well, I asked our correspondent, Darren McCaffrey, how this declaration will go down with the other member states. Well, as you say, it is somewhat of simply a statement at, at the moment, though it must be said a notable one. Uh, their argument is that going green is essentially part of Europe's prosperity as well as helping uh, to save uh, the planet, and they hope that other uh, countries will follow uh, suit. It is quite ambitious, uh, as you say, trying to meet that uh, target of zero emissions uh, by 2050 and arguing that the EU budget essentially in the 2020s from 21, 21, 21 to 20. 27, uh, a quarter of that that is spent on combating uh, climate uh, change. Uh, but what is notable, of course, is that 20 countries have not signed up to it. Uh, places like uh, Germany, which is by far the largest economy in the EU, but other countries as well, most notably, for example, Poland, that is still heavily reliant on its coal uh, sector. Now, this is, in some ways, though, Isabel, as much about uh, the future of Europe and European politics uh, as it is about saving uh, the planet. It is clear uh, that for Mark Rutte, for example, from uh, the Netherlands and Emmanuel Macron from France, that they are almost drawing this dividing line in European politics a couple of weeks ahead of the European Union elections by saying that climate change and tackling it is their priority. Um, and uh, they're trying to mark themselves out, many would say, from uh, the populists to so those on the right wing, where clearly it is not a priority. Now, I must say, it is simply a statement, as I say, a notable one at this Cebu summit, uh, but don't expect actually any firm action or anything more really to be taken until the next EU Council summit in Brussels in June. So as you're saying, the EU elections are going to be looming large. Climate change is going to be one of the issues they're going to be discussing. Just briefly now, what else is on the agenda? Well, as you say, we are in Cebu. Uh, the reason we're in Romania is because it is uh, what got the rotating presidency of the European Union at the moment. Uh, as well as talking about going green, they're also talking about trying uh, to set out an agenda for the next five years when it comes to things uh, like economic prosperity and tackling migration. Notably, of course, Brexit is not being discussed. It must be said to most people's relief at this summit. Theresa May is not attending. The Brexit secretary from the UK is representing uh, Britain. But also so, uh, very quickly, it should be said that they are also talking about the three key jobs that will have to be replaced in the coming months in the European Union, that of Commission and Council President and of the Central Bank. Uh, they'll try and work out a strategy of sorting those jobs out pretty quickly rather than letting it drag out over the summer.